all rise for the Honorable Snell in the case of Syester v. Banta. Mrs. Syester was working at Bishop's Coffee when her friend showed up to give her a gift certificate to the Arthur Murray Studios for dance lessons. <coughs> the second time that Mrs. Syester came in, she was interviewed by the manager, Mr. Theus, where she agreed to purchase a small course of lessons. Throughout her lesson, she was told that she was improving. However, she clearly was not. In order to persuade Mrs. Syester to purchase more dance lessons, they offered her medals that took years to achieve. Another manipulation tactic used was allowing Miss Syester to watch dance videos to show her what she could be like in a year. You're fired. It was at that point that Mrs. Syester quit dancing. Hey, Mr. Carey, why don't you come down to the studio to talk about your job being reinstated? Hmm, yeah, I'll come down. Do you think you still have any influence over Mrs. Syester? Yeah, I think so. She's filing charges against us. Do you think that you can go talk to her and convince her to drop the charges? Yeah, I'll go see her at Bishop's. Yeah. Mr. Carey went to talk to Miss Syester about coming back to dance. She said no. Mr. Carey asked her to go to a party. Mr. Carey said he would save Miss Syester some waltzes at the party at the studio, but to his disappointment, she did not show up. Remember all the good times that we had at the studio? Yeah, but I want my money back. Please come down to the studio with me and I'll remind you how great it was. <coughs> Miss Syester signed a release to drop all claims. Miss Syester called her attorney to inform him that she no longer needed his services. Did you get it? Where's my money? If I don't get it, I'm going to sue for fraud and misrepresentation. There you go. We are here on an appeal in regards to the trial court awarding the plaintiff 14,300 actual damages and $40,000 of punitive damages. The jury believed that Miss Syester was a vulnerable old widow who was cheated out of her money. She can't prove all the elements of fraud. The release is binding. She's puffing. No damages. Where's the evidence? 